You're still mad at me. I know why you're mad at me. You're mad at me because... I just had a dip in the ocean and I'm having a fifth beer. Haha! -ha. You're also mad at me because you can't read. You're mad at me because I ended your Sopra. Your Sopra. Your Sopra. You're mad at me because I can make new words after five beers. Sopra, which is the new word for soap opera. You're mad at me because I ruined your Sopra by not um, giving you the ending you wanted. Instead, the ending wasn't a pro prodigal son returning to his father, his non-existent father. Instead, the ending was self-indictment or um, lack of comprehension for lack of awareness to the great agenda of propaganda that is waged against your mind. Your little mind. Your little mind. <coughs> Every day. My little mind. <coughs> Every day. <laughs> ah, how interesting the world becomes after five beers. I am interested in seeing what happens after the sixth. Sixth. It's nice. Sixth, that's only, well, sixths. The plural of six is only four consonants, one after the other. But English can do better than that. Strengths. Strengths. Five consonants in a row. I urge you to go for the strengths. Those five consonants. Hey, you're mad at me because... I worked all December, and now I am finally on holiday. Mm -hmm. oh. I shall have Christmas in ten days' time, I love you now. You're mad at me because your fingers have calluses on them for pouring your derision over my every utterance, and you can't wait for more, but I have the good news for you, that in the course of this year, Starting now, I will provide you with ample fodder for your outpouring of disgust. So that the insurmountable, which you should be mad at, may be diminished to the ins inconsequential. That is I, which you are mad at. If you're not mad at me, tell me. Tell me. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad at him. <laughs> I don't know what I can do with that information, but I would appreciate it. <laughs>